What's going on everybody, C4 here. Welcome back to today's video, which is kind of like an update video, but it's an update video that I think is very much worth mentioning. Uh, finally, we're gonna be getting back into some mad content today. It's just been an incredibly, incredibly hectic day. Uh, so from top to bottom, but you know, you know, if you don't upload YouTube algorithm decides to screw you up So where this video is probably gonna be a double upload. So you got some content with it It's gonna have to just be solo and it's gonna be kind of a big update behind the scenes to the retro rebuild series to this roster file Which I know unfortunately there's not a whole lot of you There's a decent amount but not a whole lot that do play this game on PC So this is gonna be more so directed at you and maybe as well a sales pitch to those of you guys that are on console to get Madden on PC, or maybe if if you've been on the fence and you're, you're kind of thinking about getting a gaming PC, or at least a rake that can handle Madden, maybe this will get you enough to uh, jump it over. So, a couple, lot of just a lot of little things I want to go through. First and foremost, um, you know, the, the patience. The patience that are going into these mods. The patience that's going into this mod. The patience that is going into maybe the biggest mod on that people are waiting for on PC, which is the college football mod. The fact that, you know, for the college football mod in particular, it's been hyped up for quite some time. And now we're getting to, like, the nitty-gritty here. The days are getting shorter and shorter until Madden 20. And it seems like the mod's still not done. It's because those guys are taking their time because people that are far smarter than me when it comes to coding and stuff think that as long as... EA doesn't, you know, shoot themselves in the foot all of the files that are currently available for PC. So, like, we're talking about the what will be all the parts that go into the college mod, all the parts that go into this retro rebuild mod, the flashback franchise mod, they're going to be transferable. So, these are going to be mods that are going to work right out the gate in Madden 20. So, we're starting with Madden 20 with all of this already created, all of the legwork already created. It's going to give us more time, another period, maybe even, like, let's just, you know, go... And wishfully think that Madden 21 will also support this. So that's going to be like two, three years that we can have going through all these draft classes. Like it seems like they're very, very close to getting the player portraits to be customable. So that means all these guys will have their real faces. And the 03, 04, 05, 06, all the way up to 20 whatever draft classes are going to have the real players' picture faces. So like even if you are not necessarily interested in playing with the retro rosters, that means next year we'll actually have like two Otega Valoa's face. And stuff like that is really, really cool. So I do think that if you are a diehard franchise mode and you might have the disposable income, you get a nice tax return. If you could hop into the PC world, you know, I, I don't want to say necessarily go spend upwards of $1,000 just to play Madden. I don't think Madden as a title right now is in the, the kind of spot that I can kind of put my name behind that. Well, C4 said I should go buy a PC right away because... Uh, Madden on on console or Madden on console sucks, and Madden on PC is a vastly superior experience. I'm not gonna say that, but I'm gonna say that if you're on the fence or if you are really really interested in this type of mod, like adding this new life to franchise mode, which is for the last you know six seven years just incredibly boring, incredibly repetitive. But this opens a high, huge new dynamic for you guys to come in and experience. So from that standpoint, you no, know, that's the part, the little part that affects those of you guys that are watching this that are on console that want to play with this mod desperately might be worth it to try to get it on pc because it looks like it's trending in the direction that all these files are going to be transferable and this is only going to get better stronger and faster like you know, you know lane johnson mexican supplement so from that that's the first little part i want to talk about is that the future is very very bright for this mod uh part number two is that uh someone has gone through on operation sports and kind of figured out the best experience to the sim. It, it was more so designed for the Play the Moment sim, which if you guys watch my Realistic Rebuilds, the Play the Moment sim is incredibly cheesy, it's incredibly scripted, but I have found in just my very, very brief experience using this little aspect of a mod, we'll call it a mod, but it's not really a mod, uh, that just my sim in general, like just simming franchise mode, uh, is drastically improved. And essentially what it is, is it, it deals with the traits. And everyone should know right now that I don't know the ins and outs of this. I'm kind of telling, telling you this is like, maybe secondhand information, but all of these traits affect the sim, they, they affect the scripting, they affect like the gameplay, the animations and stuff like that. And some of these strips are, the, these traits are incredibly overpowered when it comes to sim. Like I know high motor is one, I know clutch is one, I know sideline catches is a big one. Fight for extra yards gives you like the biggest advantage as a runner for tackle animations. Like all of these things are incredibly overpowered when it comes to sim. Someone has come out and figured out like the best balance to, to make elite players feel truly like elite players and for just average to bad players to play like bad players. Like there's no more with these, uh, these adjustments that you can download on PC. Uh, I, and I actually think you probably could do it on console, but you know, on PC you could just strictly download it versus on console you have to manually do it. 
um, for your rosters. But it, it, I can already tell you right now, it makes the game and the franchise sim that much more realistic. There's barely any cheese. There's always going to be some cheese, but there's barely any cheese when it comes to the play of the moment. So it has made rebuilds so much better for me. And the good news for this is that the O2 base roster, the, the starting point that we have used for all of our rebuilds in the Retro Reboot series, has this uh, little trait mod applied to it. So you're starting right away with a tremendous starting spot. Uh, and it's going to give you the best gameplay experience that you're going to find anywhere on console or on PC for Madden Franchise Mode. So from this, we have another new starting point. We originally only had the O2 starting point. Now we have the 2005 starting point. So if you want to go just a little bit further into your franchise, but it's not necessarily starting O2. Maybe you weren't a football fan, but you know a lot more of these names look familiar. Like I said, we got like a real Andre Johnson, real face. Um, I don't know. Let's see who the big players are. You still got Randy Moss, Orlando Pray. You got LTs a lot better. Uh, Ed Reed's a baller at this point. Uh, just a bunch of just freaks of nature that are, that are ultimate nostalgia trips. They are here. So you also now have this 05 starting point available, which, like the O2 mod, has that dev trait. Um, we'll, we'll just call it a dev trait fix is already there. So that is just another big time update. Like, hey, if, if O2 didn't do it for you, if, if you felt that 2002 was too far of a starting point, like, oh my God, this was like the Eagle, the Super Bowl run Eagles. You got McNabb, Corey Simon, Javon Kirst, Dawkins, T.O., Oh my god, this is a super nostalgia roster for me because this is like right when I was starting to really, really get into Eagles football. Uh, this is also available, and I, at the very end, I will be linking you guys to the Discord where you can get all of the downloadable files. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's another starting point. So to go with this, we kind of opened up with the draft classes the very first time I previewed this retro mod to you guys, and it was kind of in its like infancy stages. We had this 2003 draft class, which obviously we, you know, we got Carson Palmer, you got Mr. Andre Johnson, Terrell Suggs, Troy Polamalu as some of your big names, and we had the 04 draft, which had Eli Manning, Larry Fitzgerald, Philip Rivers, Sean Taylor, uh, Ben Roethlisberger. To a lesser extent, like this is a probably if you had to pick one retro draft to kind of start around, it would be this one because there's so many, uh, you know, I would like to say surefire Hall of Fame quarterbacks available. So like, this was kind of the infancy stage. This is where we were starting out, and I knew draft classes were going to come slowly but surely, right? But I did not know they were going to be coming this fast. Now available, we have the 05 draft class. You got Alex Smith, Ronnie Brown, Cadillac Williams. I mean, Aaron Rodgers, he slips. Like all, all The draft classes are always by... Uh, and based off where the guys actually got drafted. So, you know, you'll, you'll be able to cheese here and there, like Frank Gore in the third round. You got big old Brandon Jacobs. Darren Sproles was there as well. Uh, Matt Jones loves that booger sugar. But we got we got this draft class. Right? We're, we're hitting you. We're hitting you with the 05 draft. And then you come in, you see the 06 draft. This was the first draft that I actually started to really focus on the draft and looking at college prospects. Mario Williams, Reggie Bus, Vince Young. Hey, do you want to turn around Vince Young's career? Like, not only from this retro rebuild do you get to use old rosters, you could do your own career revivals and have it feel a lot more natural than what it is right now in Madden where you just have to create a guy, like, make his stats super shitty. You know what I'm saying? You could actually go as if you were the, you don't, don't have to necessarily be the Titans, draft Vince Young, who's this tremendous we almost felt like a once-in-a-lifetime QB at Texas, and actually make him good. You got Vernon Davis, who had just a disgusting, disgusting combine, one of the greatest combines of all time. Uh, you know, you got Nick Mangold and D'Amico Ryans. You got some nice little, some nice names, some good nostalgic. Lendell White, everybody. Who doesn't remember Lendell White? Andrew Whitler still playing. Devin Hester, the greatest return man of all time. MJD, the worst takes on the NFL Network. But we're still not done. Let's throw, let's throw 2007 in here. Jamarcus, Calvin Johnson, Joe Thomas, little Ron Landry, AP, Patrick Willis, Marshawn Lynch, Darrell Revis. These guys are freaks. These guys are legends. You can get Brady Quinn another. Just take a guy who's an absolute bust. Try to make him. Try to turn around. Try to make his career that much more special. Like, look, right now, we're already here at this point. Like, it already feels like you're already living a, a, a separate life. You're already in an alternate reality with all these players with the ability to just completely and drastically change the landscape of some of your favorite franchises. And just out of nowhere, we're going to hit you with the 08 draft class. You know, you get Matt Ryan, Jake Long, Chris Long. Uh, not not the greatest first round. You can get Flacco is the elite. You tell me. CJ2K's there. We got... Um, obviously, I'm just kind of browsing the, the first couple picks. There's obviously 
big time steals the, the later you go on. Matt Forte, you get to Sean Jackson, Calais Campbell, Ray Rice. Hey, what if Ray Rice never just beat the crap out of his girlfriend? Could he turn his career around? You know, so we're sitting here at 08. Like we are, we're almost like 10 years in at this point. How much more can we possibly go? Oh, we just got one more for you. You got that 09 class. You got Matt Stafford, Fat Stafford. You got a couple, you know, top ends wasn't the greatest of drafts. You know, Mark Sanchez. You got a couple busters. BJ Raji was good. Brian Arakpel, Malcolm Jenkins. You know, you got Josh Freeman. Can he? Can you make him a great quarterback to each their own? Percy Harvin. And this is the last one I have to show you. And from what it looks like, cursive, he is the man that's behind this mod right now. We will have up to 2012 done maybe by the end of next week. Like, we are incredibly close. And then I think next, he's going to be working from an 07 starting point. So you can pick, do you want to start at 2002, 05, 07? Like, it's really limitless. And like I said, they are close to getting real portraits. So that when you import this draft class, if you decide to do this, you're going to actually see Stafford. You're going to see Aaron Curry, Mark Sanchez, Andre Smith, DHB, BJ Raji there. It's going to be in a complete immersive experience, as well as these players already come with those dev trait mods that I've already told you drastically improve the franchise mode experience more so if you are rocking the sim so uh big time update these are going to be like you know kind of a sneak peek behind the scenes of what's coming for the retro rebuilds but also it's just a sales pitch for you know getting this game on pc like i, I just feel like franchise mode we all know you know is madden 20 franchise mode going to be what everyone wants probably not when we can hope but i really do feel like at least the people that are busting their ass on PC for the PC community make it that much more of a game that, you know, this like this experience right here, like, it's worth, I personally think, like, the cost of having a new Madden. Like, having, like, one of these these greatest hits Madden's games. Like, that's kind of what it is. So, I, I think it's really, really dope. And, like, you know, the, the plan, the end of the line is to have these draft classes correlate with the draft classes that i have been bringing to you guys you know my my 2019 draft class my 2020 draft class like we're gonna keep going that on we're gonna keep going literally until we probably are like putting in players that are currently in middle school you know what i'm saying that's kind of creepy to think about but um you know i just want to just want to give you guys a big update on all the hard work because I, I felt like it was definitely worth the video to kind of shed light on the hard work cursive and all those guys i mean i'm helping in here and there but ultimately i'm more so the mouthpiece for this mod um, but yeah, you guys can see, I'm going to put it up at the end of this video, uh, just some screenshots of how to properly install this mod since it seems to be a little bit of lost in translation of how to do it correctly, but it seems more often than not people get it. Uh, and I will provide you with my discord as well as the discord for cursive, the guy that's working on all these draft classes, cause he's constantly giving sneak peeks for you guys to hop in, test it out, see if it's working, see what's not working. And uh, hey, if you, if you feel like you're super interested, you have a lot of time in your hands and you really want to come in and try to maybe help out the more the merrier. So thank you guys for watching. Like I said, we will, it probably just, I'm going to put it up right at the end, uh, kind of like go a step-by-step -step on how to properly install these. And, uh, you know, we're, we're just going to keep going on because right now this is what brings me back to Madden day after day is is the, the excitement that I currently get, looking to see what draft classes are done and looking to get ready to record a new rebuild, how I'm going to approach it and really just live that nostalgia trip. So that is it for me today, guys. Like I said, Rebuild will be out tomorrow. We'll have Rebuilds coming out this weekend. Like, I owe you guys a couple from this week. So, uh, you know, make sure you subscribe if it's your first time stopping by. Smash that like button if you enjoyed. Check out the links. Hope you guys like to continue to support this mod. And, uh, you know, he has a little donate thing. Feel free that if you're enjoying this mod, hit him up with that little bit of a donation. Give him a little bit of a tip. Just the tip, though. But that is it for me, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.